Can a foreigner make a better pasta dish than an Italian? In today's video, I will challenge my boyfriend to see if we can make a better pasta than him. And let us know in the comments down below who should win. Hi guys and welcome to my channel. On this channel, we dress well and we live healthy without spending a fortune. And we also like taking challenges like today's one. After the big success of our one book pasta challenge, we decided to make another pasta challenge today. My name is Vasi, I'm Bulgarian and I have lived in Italy for three and a half years but I also really like trying different cuisines, uh, different ingredients and I just love experimenting and I think this would really help me win this challenge. Hi again, Ben here. I've decided to come back on this channel and challenge Vasi into making the pasta challenge. So I haven't lived in Italy for like six or seven years, but I still think I remember how to make a decent pasta. Who do you think would make a better pasta dish? Well, you cook more often than I do here, because I have to do the cleaning. You're not really a fan of washing the dishes. I think I would make a better pasta. Well, let's see. And the rules of today's challenge are only two. First, we have a limited budget of only three pounds. And second, we have only 20 minutes to cook it. Have you decided what to make? Yes, I have. Have you? Of course I have. Well, let's, let's go, go to the see. kitchen. So for my recipe, I've decided to go for some penne with asparagus and shrimp. We have a uh, pasta di granano, we have some penne. We're gonna use something like 120 grams of that. Then with my three pounds, I've decided to get some asparagus and some like prawns. Uh, I spent 150 for 200 grams of asparagus that you can see here and the remaining 150 for the 120 grams of shrimps and yeah, then there's half an onion And I have decided to make penne a salmone Here are my ingredients I will also be using the same pasta and with my 3 pounds I have decided to buy smoked salmon which was 2 pounds and 1 pound of mascarpone my additional ingredients will be the olives and a garlic clove. Starts now. I want like the tip to be kind of crunchy and like use a decoration while this needs to be, you know, because they're much harder. Are a little bit raw and you have 10 minutes left. Do you think you will manage with time? I'll improvise. There are a little bit too many shrimps for a single plate. You have four minutes left. The pasta is taking like a bit more to boil, but it's sort of good. Just like this looks looking like pretty nice and yummy. I just need to put some pepper in the end and we're done. Don't really like salt. He cooks without salt. And last two minutes. Un filo di olio. Un filo di olio. Oh my god, how much oil is he putting for one single plate? So it was very obvious that he is like trying to play in the flavor side by adding too much oil. Mm. She eats with a lot of salt. Around 100 grams of pasta. One spoon of the mascarpone. Yeah. Add water for the pasta. And we'll mix this. When she added the like water with the mascarpone, I think it was definitely like too much water. And we have this here. I was surprised how she managed to like make all the water evaporate and then like the mascarpone became very creamy and like when it melted, with the, it got absorbed by the pasta. Ooh, that's nice. And here is our taste test. I'm so excited about it. 
Alright, so we're trying, you know, like the ones we made first and then we're gonna switch. Yes, but first, before that, when you look at my plate, what do you think? I think, I think that it looks good. And for yours, I think that there are a little bit too many shrimps for a single plate. Overall, it looks good, I have to say. Alright, okay, so let's dig in. I really like mine. Mm -hmm. So overall, mm -hmm. I really like it. It's very fresh and I really like the shrimps together with the asparagus. It's a nice combination, especially for spring. I can't taste a lot the asparagus, but uh, overall it's very nice and delicate flavor. Since brief, fuck off to your asparagus. But <clears throat> on my side, I have to say, I like it. It's really nice and creamy, nice and creamy. Uh, the only small thing, you know, I wouldn't have put like olives. E il momento delle olive. Well, overall, it's, it's nice, you know, it's, it's pretty good, it's pretty decent. You can, can't complain, you know. I have to say, it doesn't have much flavor apart from the oil and some of the asparagus are a little bit raw. But overall, I like it. Here Very there is too fresh. much salt, the pasta is raw, the olives don't fit here, and the salmon was not supposed to be, it's overcooked. No, amore, tu hai tutte quelle cose brutte? No, che facciamo? Non mi piace così. Overall, I really like it. <laughs> and oh. which one do you like more? No, mine. And I like more mine? Oh. I just flip the switch. And now, final thoughts. Final thoughts. She, she eats with a lot of salt. Too much salt is bad for your blood pressure. <laughs> what would you change on my plate? The olives were excessive, I would say. I think the, the salmon and the mascarpone were really good. Like they were like all together, it was really, really nice. And about you, yeah, what would you change for my plate? Maybe I would make a cream out of the asparagus, also some pieces inside, but definitely have more creamy side of it. But my mother Because the me... only thing that combines them is the oil. And I also don't agree with some of the things that you said, but they didn't interrupt oh. you to say why I didn't agree. So, oh. honestly, who do you think the winner should be? It's your turn to decide. Who's, who's, who's gonna win? You know, let us know in the comments. Bye! Bye! Bye.